The most important question we can ever ask might be, are we alone in the universe? This question, made famous by the legendary Carl Sagan, still resonates with scientists and dreamers alike. Sagan wasn't just asking for curiosity's sake. He believed that answering it would fundamentally change our understanding of life, existence, and our place in the cosmos. Carl Sagan envisioned a universe teeming with possibilities. He often said that if there's any life on Earth, it would be a waste of space. That idea inspired generations of scientists to scan the skies for signs of life. Now, those dreams are inching closer to reality, thanks to cutting-edge technology and passionate scientific efforts. One of the biggest breakthroughs has come through the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST. This marvel of engineering has become our most powerful eye in the sky, peering farther into the universe than any telescope before it. Its precision allows astronomers to study the atmospheres of distant planets, a key step in the search for extraterrestrial life. The JWST doesn't just show us pretty images of stars and galaxies. It works like a time machine, letting us look billions of years into the past. It's also a kind of space microscope, revealing chemical compositions, planetary atmospheres, and even possible signs of life. Among its many discoveries, one particular exoplanet has caught the world's attention, K218b, located in the constellation Leo, over 120 light years from Earth. It orbits a small, cool red dwarf star named K218. Despite the star's dimness, the planet is in its habitable zone, a region where conditions might allow liquid water to exist. K218b isn't a typical rocky planet like Earth. It's what scientists call a sub-Neptune, larger than Earth but smaller than Neptune. What makes it fascinating is that it's classified as a Hycean planet, a type recently proposed by Dr. Niku Madhusudan, an astrophysicist at Cambridge University. Hycean planets are characterized by hydrogen-rich atmospheres and global oceans beneath thick cloud layers. These conditions could be perfect for supporting microbial life. And this is where things get really exciting. Using transit spectroscopy, a technique where light from a planet's host star passes through its atmosphere, scientists have been able to analyze chemical signatures in K218b skies. In this process, certain wavelengths of light are absorbed by specific gases, acting like a fingerprint for what the atmosphere contains. To everyone's surprise, JWST data revealed water vapor, methane, carbon dioxide, and possibly even dimethyl sulfide DMS. On Earth, DMS is almost entirely produced by marine microorganisms. Its presence could be a biosignature, a chemical clue that life may exist on the planet. Dr. Niku Madhusudan, who led the research team, called it the strongest indicator so far of potential alien life in an exoplanet's atmosphere. He emphasized, however, that this is not a confirmation of life, yet it is a major step forward. We are entering a new era in astrobiology, he said. Other scientists have expressed excitement and caution. Dr. Sarah Seeger from MIT, an expert in exoplanet atmospheres, noted that we are closer than ever to answering the life question. For the first time, she said, we are identifying planets that could realistically be homes to living organisms. This discovery also changes our perception of what a habitable planet can be. We used to think only Earth-like rocky worlds with breathable atmospheres could host life. But Hycean planets show that alien environments might be just as capable of nurturing life. Even within our own solar system, we found surprises. Jupiter's moon Europa and Saturn's moon Enceladus are believed to have subsurface oceans. NASA's Cassini spacecraft detected organic molecules in geysers erupting from Enceladus, proving that life doesn't necessarily need sunlight or a surface to exist. JWST is not just hunting for life. It's helping us understand how planets and galaxies form, offering insights into the chemical structure of the early universe and expanding our view of planetary evolution. 
This is why many scientists are calling this the golden age of exoplanet science. Another thrilling target for JWST is TRAPPIST-1e, one of seven Earth-sized planets orbiting a single star just 40 light-years away. Several of them lie in the habitable zone, and JWST is beginning to scan their atmospheres for the same kinds of molecules seen on K218b. There's also LHS-1140b, a rocky world about 49 light-years from us. It's believed to have a thick atmosphere and potentially liquid water. It too orbits in the habitable zone of its red dwarf star, making it an exciting target for future research. Scientists are already planning follow-up studies of K218b to confirm the presence of DMS and look for other biosignatures like ozone, ammonia, and nitrogen compounds. These chemicals, if found together, would provide compelling evidence for life. The upcoming aerial mission by the European Space Agency will investigate hundreds of exoplanet atmospheres, while NASA's Habitable Worlds Observatory, expected in the next decade, aims to look even closer at Earth-like planets around nearby stars. The scale of the universe is almost impossible to grasp. With over 100 billion galaxies, and each galaxy containing billions of stars, the odds of Earth being the only planet with life seem increasingly small. If just a tiny fraction of those stars host habitable planets, we could be looking at millions of potential alien worlds. Dr. Jill Tata, a pioneer in the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, SETI, often says, the absence of evidence is not evidence of absence. She believes that we are finally developing the tools necessary to detect real proof of life. Every new data point we collect reshapes our understanding of life and the universe. Even finding microbial life on another planet would confirm that Earth is not unique, and that life may arise whenever conditions are right. The implications would go far beyond science. Philosophers and religious leaders would need to rethink humanity's place in the cosmos. We'd no longer be the only known life, we'd be part of something much bigger, a cosmic ecosystem. Young students watching these discoveries unfold are becoming more inspired than ever. Today's kids could be the future astronauts, scientists, or even planetary colonists. The curiosity sparked by JWST may lead them to become the very people who find proof of life, or even visit an alien world. Some speculate that our future missions might not only detect life, but also find techno-signatures, evidence of intelligent civilizations. These could be radio signals, industrial pollutants, or even artificial lights shining on the night side of an exoplanet. If we were to detect even one signal like this, it would mean we are not just not alone, but that other beings may be watching the stars, just like we are. The search for life is no longer just philosophy or science fiction. It's a real, ongoing effort that could lead to the greatest discovery in human history. Dr. Thomas Sir Butchen, NASA's former science mission director, said, This is the closest we've ever come to finding life beyond Earth, and we're just getting started. His words echo through the halls of observatories and research labs worldwide. Each telescope, every mission, and every discovery brings us one step closer to answering that one question Carl Sagan posed so many years ago. With every new planet we analyze, new questions emerge about our universe, our origins, and our future. Perhaps life on K218b exists. Maybe it's just simple microbes swimming in alien oceans. Or maybe something more complex is hiding beneath its clouds. Whatever the case, our journey has just begun. The universe is vast, beautiful, and full of surprises. We must keep exploring, keep questioning, and stay hopeful. Because one day, we just might get an answer. Subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.